All right, ladies and gentlemen, last track on the album. Roll it. I don't know. I don't know what there is to say about the album. You heard it. You you if you if you're here, chances are you've heard it already, and you know that there's no misses. You know that this is an album of the year contender. I don't expect Blast Off to be so bad that that changes my mind. I'm I'm honestly expecting it to be as good and on par with the rest of the album. So I mean, I'm hyped. There's really nothing else to say. Let's just get on into it. Follow your boy Instagram, Twitter, Discord. Once again, I'm doing all this entire album live on Twitch as I speak to y'all guys. So if y'all guys want to catch the live, if you want to join the community or any of that, consider joining over on Twitch. Second link in the description. If y'all guys want to support the channel and you want to support me monetarily, I do this full time on YouTube because people that subscribe over on Patreon, they're literally my income. So if y'all want to, if you want to be part of that bigger role of the channel, consider joining over on Patreon. But other than that, last track, Blast Off. Let's get it. Clouds are blowing, don't know Ooh. where we're going. But we're levitating up in this room. This right out the gate might be the sexiest song on the album right after after last night. It's not a it's not a groove. It's not funky. It's just silk. Pardon the bad joke, but that's what it is. But we're levitating up in this room. All these colors just like rainbows in summer. Got a smiling like our dreams just came true. Yeah. The strings. The strings in the back are crazy. It's got like that smoothness of it's a not it's a 70s version of spaceship coop by uh justin timberlake it's got the same vibe bro just like that we're gonna be floating in the heavens and we're gonna be so far out of this world All of the triplet, dun, 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 all of, they've done that multiple times on the album, and it's definitely something that was done heavily in the 70s. It's so nice, bro. All right, right. Destination, pure sensation, starting right now. the final moment build up of the song and it's the last song in the album so this like this is like the last build up this sounds like this sounds like what the last five minutes of a fireworks show looks like you know what i'm saying if you ever go to a professional pyrotechnic fireworks show where they got crazy like like they know what they're doing and then the last like five minutes or two minutes depending on how long the show is is just like explosions happening all over the sky 
That's what this sounds like right now. to the end of the album. is how you end a fucking album. I'm left with a feeling of euphoria. It's literally felt like a blast off into space. We were on the ground at the beginning portion of the song. Then when we had the build up, when I was talking about the fireworks going off, it's not even fireworks now that I think about it. It's literally like a spaceship is taking off and you're in this spaceship. And then once you break Earth's gravitational field and now we're just floating, that's what the end sounds like. Like we're just floating in space. We're floating amongst the good vibrations. Damn this album, bro. Uh, and that's a nine. That's a nine for me as an, as an ending album or an ending track. Overall, not a single miss on the album. Not a single eight for me on the album. Like people are gonna say that's that triple seven and fly as me. That those are gonna be like the two that they fit the vibe, but they didn't fit the vibe. But they're still a vibe. Um, so if anybody's gonna rate any of these songs lower, it's gonna be one of those two, if not both. But for me, both of those are still hits because I like the. I like the swagger on Fly Is Me because it like kind of lets us into like the right after Leave the Door Open. It's the same level of swagger, but now a different type of song. And Triple Seven, it sounds like modern music with a 70s twist on it. The album as a whole, if I got to rate every individual song or if I got to Leave the Door Open's a nine, Fly Is Me is probably eight and a half, After Last Night's a 10, Smoking Out the Windows a nine and a half, Put On a Smile is an 11, Triple uh, Seven is eight, Skate is an eight and a half, and Blast Off is a 9.3, something like that. So my overall rating for the album is probably gonna be a nine, um, nine, a little bit higher than a nine maybe. Put On a Smile is the best track that I've heard all year, and this is definitely gonna be up there as album of the year contender for a lot of people, if not most people. Album's crazy, yo. If y'all guys watch all these videos, I appreciate you if you're here. If you haven't watched all these videos and you wanna go back and watch them, feel free. They're all gonna be on the channel. If you join the Patreon, the full live stream with all commentary will be uh, on the on the Patreon. The live stream's about two hours long. Uh, that's how long we took on this album. Um, but yeah, I appreciate everybody coming through. Silk Sonic, crazy. I hope that they make more albums, if I'm being honest. I hope that they stay as a duo and it's not just like a one-time thing. But other than that, Appreciate y'all guys joining. Follow your boy Instagram, Twitter, Discord. If you like what you see, please consider liking the video and leaving a comment. Um, it helps the algorithm pick up the video and send it out there to other people. If you like what you see enough, please consider joining over on Twitch because this is what we do over on Twitch, but a live setting. Um, so if you like it, please consider joining over there. I promise you'll enjoy your time. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, appreciate your time. Go out there in the world, love and care for one another. Love and care for each other. Catch everybody on the next video. Peace.